everybody! If you don't know, or you forgot, my name's Samantha and I have alopecia. Today, just to start up the new videos that I'm going to be making, I thought I would make something a little bit different than what I have previously. I'm going to be doing a little talk through about a project that I did during my first year of college during my spring semester. It was my final project. It was a photo book that I created for a philosophy of photography class. And I did it based off of my alopecia. And I felt like it really opened my eyes to some things and I thought that it would be something interesting to share with you guys. So before I start talking about that, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and leave any other suggestions that you have for videos down below. Before I start talking about the project, I'm just gonna give you a little a bit of info about it. So basically it was a project on a theme of our choice that had to be inspired by some of the readings and theories that we had learned about during the class. And so initially I was gonna make a project just completely about myself with my alopecia and kind of talk about how no matter what stage of hair loss I was in, I was always happy. And unfortunately, my mom went through all of our photo albums and all, of the co and all of the photos that she had on her computer. And the photos that she had were great, but they just weren't really what I was personally looking for. And I met with my professor and he told me like, why don't you broaden it? Make it about just women in general with, with the perspective of hair in society. And I thought that was a really great idea. So I rolled with it. I not only talked to some students my age and took pictures of their hair and asked them stories about themselves, but I also found some pictures and articles about iconic celebrities who are known for their hair. And hearing them talk about their hair and how that has impacted them was really, really powerful. And this book ended up being one of my best projects that I've ever done. I'm really proud of it, and since it's about hair, I thought that it would be something that I could share with you guys. I'm going to go really quickly and show you guys the book super fast. You can go into the settings on your computer, on YouTube, and change the, the speed of the video if you want to see it slower, or you can just pause on each on each clip to see it all, but I'm just going to go through it quick, so. So for this project, if you could not tell, I was really hoping that people would get the idea that even if someone doesn't have issues with their hair like myself, everyone has some sort of insecurity, whether or not they acknowledge it or not. Hair is so valuable to society in the fact that people will judge you whether or not you have hair, whether your hair looks frizzy or straight whether it looks curly or wavy or has any texture to it, depending on its color, such as, sorry, that was harmony, depending on like, you know, stereotypes with color, such as like the dumb blonde or things like that. So many different ways that hair can change someone's perception of another person or of themselves. Because sometimes when people say negative things about you because of, some sort of trait that you have, you start to think it yourself. So what I was doing with this project was trying to ask people, how do these negative or hurtful perspectives change somebody? And I had some really great responses from some friends and also through some stuff that I found on the internet. 
And before I actually went into talking about the things that my friends or celebrities had to say, I did like a quick explanation of society's pressures on women through beauty. Having perfect skin, wearing makeup. Guys will be like, I love a girl with no makeup, but when they have no makeup on, ew, I don't want them. I talked about how wigs are becoming more normalized. You know, celebrities starting, are starting to wear them more, even if they have no issues with their hair, wearing hair extensions is becoming popular. There's just a lot is being normalized now, and I think that's fabulous. So now I'm gonna get into the project. Some of the things that I learned. Really just look back and think about how powerful it was to see multiple different women and girls my age embrace what their hair is and embrace how they can be their true selves no matter what other people think of them based off of those self-perceived notions of what beauty is and I found that so amazing. It's something that we should all really take into account when we look at other people, maybe not just for their hair, but maybe for their disappearance in general, and maybe just for who they are as a person, like their character. Don't judge so quick. Get to know the person before you decide to make a judgment on them. And I'm just gonna read the afterword that I wrote in this book, and I feel like that I feel like that really sums up what I'm trying to say here. Now that you've had the chance to go through and see how the world has impacted the way women see themselves and others in today's society, I hope to have brought you to think deeper about your hair or personal appearance as a whole, not in a negative way, rather in a summative or retrospective manner. It's important to acknowledge how the world has shaped us to think about ourselves and think about how that has impacted our personal opinions. I'm guessing you've never thought about how your hair makes you feel or have thought of what hair means to others. It's a complex and confusing feeling, but once you figure out that connection is so powerful. Really, I think that sums it up. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I just, I just think back to how like you can't judge someone based off of how they look. You gotta just, Focus on yourself and also just see the best in others. And you know, through my project, and I had a lot of people make comments during my presentation for my final, saying that their eyes were open too. They didn't really think much about how maybe their comments about their own hair or how other people thought about their hair was really negative. They were like, oh wow, I didn't really think about that. Oh wow, I didn't think that people would have such interesting stories about how people took themselves the wrong way because of how someone looked. Not only was I so fortunate to meet some really strong, powerful women who were willing to share their stories with me, but I was also able to find celebrities who are also strong and confident in themselves to share the real reasons behind their most famous hairstyles or really the true feelings that they have towards their hair. I think it's so fascinating, so interesting to see the difference in perspectives between what I maybe thought about them and what they think about themselves. And that goes for everyone with everybody else. I really hope that my book was able to bring awareness to those issues and I think and ultimately I just think that through this entire story that I was able to come up with and this theme that I created this this book with really emphasizes how hair and societal expectations have really affected women today. Unfortunately it's not in the best but if we just work on ourselves and we teach people to be accepting, as I'm trying to do here, and how many people are trying to do all over the world through their perspective platforms, I think we can make a lot of change. That's gonna be it for the video today. I feel like I was talking a little bit more serious, but I hope that through this video, you really got a new perspective that hair doesn't only affect bald or alopecia girls, or people who have other autoimmune or just diseases in general that cause hair loss. Rather, you just learned 
that hair affects everybody, no matter what. You may not realize it, like I didn't really think about it either, but it does. So I'm gonna go. Harmony, you wanna say hi? Anyways, Harmony and I are gonna go. I think she might need to go to the bathroom. But don't forget, you are you with or without your hair. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs> Bye. Ah!